Alright guys, so I think it's about time that I made a review of my Garmin FR630. My trusted GPS watch that I use every single day almost. Uh, it's just an epic watch and I want to give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough how it looks. And we'll focus in on the watch and I'll show you guys the menu and all that stuff, how it works. And talk a little bit about why I love it. So first of all, before we look at the watch itself, I want to say that I'm very happy about it. Okay, it's an epic watch. Uh, I started running a few years ago, uh, seriously, and I, I picked up a just like a Garmin, like an older version of, of some, some Garmin. It was just a basic GPS watch and it was super inspiring. As soon as I got my GPS watch, I was just like, it took my running to a new level because it was inspiring to be able to measure and see numbers in terms of my my performance and see okay this is the pace i'm running now i'm running this much faster how does it affect my heart rate that sort of thing it was just inspiring and then at a certain point i realized you know i love this running thing i i'm taking it pretty seriously i'm training systematically i should have a proper watch like a better tool because this was not this wasn't a very advanced Garmin uh, watch. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna invest and I'm gonna get myself one of the best watches on the market at the time. And that was this one, the, the Garmin Forerunner 630. Uh, so it's a running specific watch. They have all kinds of watches, you know, Garmin. And this is a, a, a watch specifically for runners with a few functions that, uh, are made for runners basically and just to mention it if you're interested in buying it or reading more about it there's an affiliate li link in the description to amazon where you can click it and go and buy the watch if you want uh, and if you do we'll get a little bit of a commission for sending in there but the price remains the same for you so it's a good way to support the long trail project i bought this watch with my own money i'm not sponsored by garmin to make this review it's my own opinion i love it so let's take a look at the different functions and why they're so awesome all right, so here we are looking at the watch close app. So first of all, it's very light. It's just a light watch overall. It's, it's, it feels really light. It feels almost like a toy, honestly. It's just so light and it sits, it fits really well. I don't really do well with watches in the past. I, I haven't enjoyed wearing them. They're just uncomfortable, but this one fits just really perfectly and just sits on my wrist really comfortably. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see here, I've actually cracked the screen a few places. So that's too bad. I lost the watch a few times. Um, but that's just how it is. Um, this is not going to be a complete overview of all the functions of the watch, but I'll just show you guys generally how it works and why it's really cool. So first of all, you can see the time there, obviously the date. So as you can see, we have four buttons. This is the on off. This is the go back button. This is the lap button and this is the start stop button if you're timing on the track, for example, or when you're out running. And here we go, here's the menu. So there's a clock menu, there's a history menu where we can go in and actually look at activities. I can look at my run yesterday, it was a long run. Uh, see here, 23K or 22.93K, my, my time, my pace, um, various things that has to do with my running vertical oscillation, vertical ratio, ground contact time, uh, stride length. I'm not gonna explain all of those uh, things to you right now, but needless to say, this watch is pretty advanced and has a lot of um, interesting information if you're a runner. Particularly in order to have these functions, you do need the heart rate monitor, you know, the, the chest strap that you put on there or in your chest. It doesn't have an optical heart rate monitor on the wrist, uh, but that's okay because the heart rate chest strap is more accurate anyway, and that's what I want. So by having the chest strap, you're also getting some of these running dynamics like vertical oscillation, how much you're moving up and down, um, ground contact time, how much time your foot spends on the ground each stride, that sort of thing. Very, very good to have. Uh, how much time you spend in each zone. See, this was a long run. I spent most of the run in zone two. And so very, very interesting. And I can also look through my other runs 
in the recent past and I can go into totals and look how much I've ran this week. So far I've done 39 kilometers this week. Cycling, you can go and look how much I'm cycling as well. I'm cycling zero right now, so that's not very interesting. Um, stats, you can go and look at your recovery advisor, which recommends one more hour until I'm fully recovered from my long run yesterday. It's sort of like an estimate. And VO2 max, which estimates, you know, yeah, your VO2 max. It's based on your pace and your heart rate and that sort of thing. It goes up and down a bit, uh, honestly. Because if I'm running on a flat, I'm running pretty fast, and I'll, I'll, I'll go up to like a 54. And then if I'm having a really slow run, maybe a lot of hills, then it tells me I'm like down to 50 or something. So it doesn't take into account the hills, which is pretty stupid. Um, but it is a good estimate nevertheless. I think it's pretty accurate, really. Um, and uh, based on that, it can also predict your race times, etc. And that, again, this is pretty accurate. Um, lactate threshold can estimate lactate threshold based on your breathing. Uh, again, the, the heart rate strap senses that, um, and in addition to your heart rate, etc. And settings. Well, then you can go into this mode here where you have your different profiles for different types of training, you know, indoor running, bike, bike indoor, cross country skiing, and the one I use the most is just run. You can customize these as much as you want. And then you're in there. This is the one you use when you're running. There you go. Starting timer, pace, heart rate, distance. And then you have other screens as well. And you can all customize them as much as you want. You can show whatever information you want, basically. And uh, that's very good. We'll delete that. All right, I'll switch back to this view now. Um, great watch, um, I love it. It's The touch screen is really good. It's uh, sensitive, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, as I said, it's comfortable, it's light. It does the job, it gives me a lot of information about my running, my vertical oscillation, my cadence, ground contact time, and of course the important things like heart rate, if you have a heart rate monitor, which you should, pace, time, distance, all that good stuff. It's very accurate in terms of the GPS. I find there's not much GPS drift or any GPS um, errors. Most of the time it's pretty accurate when I log it on Strava. And you can of course follow me on Strava if you're interested. There's a link in the description. And so overall, super duper happy about this watch. I don't feel the need to upgrade to any other watch at the moment, to be honest. It's just, it gives me what I need. It has everything I want as a runner. It's just overall a good watch. I, I would recommend it to anyone interested in running. Alrighty, as I said, there's a link in the description for the affiliate link if you're interested in buying it. And of course, check out some of my other gear reviews by checking out the gear reviews playlist. I'll put a link to it somewhere around here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, of course. Stay tuned to more running vlogs, book reviews, gear reviews, and training talks, all kinds of cool stuff on the channel. Thanks, bye.